What's up, everybody? We are doing a review of a hundred dollar value bag from Bud K for fifty bucks. I've already split the bag open, as you can see. We're just gonna kind of go through a couple things here. Money fire starter. Okay. Just some easy tinder. It says it's coated with wax. Uh, compressed towels. I don't know how many of these things are in here. I've heard from friends that these things actually work really well. It's about the size of uh, like two aspirin put together. There's 12 inside of that. Solar bulb. I could never have too many of these things for camping. Oof, we got some charge out of the box. This is what it looks like, and here's your hanger. Oops, sorry if I'm blinding people. That was not the intent. I'm happy about two of those so far. More wrap. These come in a few of these things. I think I've also gotten one or two of these in the SHTF boxes. I'm kind of meh about the wrap. Same with the hat. It's just not really something that's my style. But I'm not surprised to see that show up in one of these boxes where they're trying to get rid of it. Another one of these crappy wallets. And throw that in the Mac pile also. There you go. Little sharpener. I think we all got one or two of these kicking around the house. Not a bad thing to have another one. I'm not upset about that. Alright. The ultra light rechargeable work light. Dude, I gotta be honest with you, this thing's pretty weighty. Just in the box. Inside there. There's the charger. All right now. Let's see what this thing's all about. I've actually eyeballed this a couple times, so I'm actually pumped to get this thing in here. Charge port. Hanger. On off button. With the rubber, uh, that rubber lining going around the entire outside of it, seems like it's probably going to handle a, uh, handle a drop pretty well. Woo! Alright, there's only two settings to the light. That first one's pretty goddamn bright. I'm going to put that over here in the like it pile too. Uh, 
I've gotten a couple of these before. Just hold this up so you guys can see what's in these little survival kits. They're all the same. I'll rip it open just for those who are interested. This one's got a mini carabiner on it, at least, I guess. Alright. So these things are always going to have a flashlight. Normally a whistle. It's going to have a little flint striker. This one's actually got a better compass than most of them that I see. But, compass. They'll always have one of these paracord bracelets. It's got a fire starter on it. If you want to strike the flint with that. Normally these little flint striker knives come out too. Oh, maybe this one doesn't. Okay. They're always super uncomfortable. Tactical pen. Oh, this one's got a little extra flashlight to it. That's actually kind of cool. This one might be better than most that I've seen, if I'm being honest. Huh. So this one's a lot smaller than most that I've seen. A lot smaller. Which tells me it'll probably be a lot easier to carry in a wallet. Because most of these that we see aren't something that you would actually carry in your wallet. Especially those ones that have like the little uh, fake paracord on it and stuff. But this one's actually pretty cool. Plus it comes with this little mini sheath. So I dig that. That little survival kit is actually uh, probably one of the better ones that I've seen. I'm pumped about that. Here we are with the Vector Strike. lighter knife help. I like the sheath it's in at least. The hard plastic. Sturdier than most. Let's see what kind of retention it has coming out. Ah, sharp. I oopsied myself right off the bat. Solid job. The blade looks really cool too. I'm going to guess this is a glass breaker on the back. But it doesn't look like those that are traditional that we've seen before. But yeah, this thing is mean. Oh, I'm leaking. I gotta pause. There we go. She's mean. Careful opening it. That Sheath actually has better retention than I would have thought. Clearly. So the vector strike is a score. It's a sharp score. Get rid of some of this so nobody gets all squeamish.
I'm gonna leave that one there. I like it. I like the vector force. Off camera, I had to uh, pick up a couple of droplets. Sorry, guys. I want my dogs getting that. This is probably the third time I've gotten this little Battleborn knife. They're actually really light and useful. They're comfortable with that rubber grip. And it's also kind of got an extra plastic scale on the outside of it. The ball bearings make it super smooth. But like I said, they're crazy light. They're not bad. It's a cheap knife. But it's a good one. I dig that one. What do we got here? A little rampage action. I have never ever gotten one of these, so I'm honestly not sure what to expect here. Loose. Very loose. Trail wind. Really not familiar with this. I think it's cooler looking than most, I guess. It's got a liner lock. I don't know what this uh, rubber piece in the back is for. It's, I guess, for when you're flipping it open. But it doesn't seem super practical. I don't know. Not bad. Not upset by it. Probably not something I would have picked out myself, but... We'll give it credit for what it is, right? What in the hell do we got here? Probably a new oversized Bowie knife. These have a tendency to show up in these. Not really very useful. Okay, I am immediately retracting that statement. <laughs> I have nothing like this right now, and this is actually super freaking cool, so... I'm giving credit where credit's due. I dig this. There we go. Well, as you can see, it has the setup as if to be a bayonet. None of these are sharp at all. But the point is, which is really all you're looking for if you're uh, bayoneting somebody and you get that close. Getting down with that hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, pretty cool. Normally, I'm really not a fan of those uh, oversized Bowie knives that have a tendency to show up in these. But this one's super badass. I don't have anything like that right now. Other bayonets, sure, but nothing like this. Right on. So that's everything that came in the kit. If I'm being uh, judgmental on my side, it was really only a couple things that I didn't like. I understand the hat and the wallet. I understand why they're trying to get rid of those. But I'm not a fan. The wallet especially, because that's like the fifth one of those damn things I've gotten. I've gotten them in one of those doomsday crates. I've gotten them in the SHTF subscriptions and also other hundred dollar value boxes so 
Not a fan of that. The tape or the wrap, I mean, I'm not upset about it. But it's just not something I would pick out right now because, again, they have a tendency to throw those into some of those. And other mystery boxes, I guess, so. Yeah. All in all, I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Not bad. Hope it helped.